Welcome to BTEC Revision. In today's lesson, we're looking at velocity ratio. By the end, we should be able to calculate the velocity ratio of systems. The velocity ratio is the ratio between the distance moved by the effort and the distance moved by the load. It is also the ratio of the effort velocity with the load velocity. Here are the two equations. Velocity ratio equals effort distance divided by load distance and velocity ratio equals effort velocity divided by load velocity. The short form of velocity ratio is VR, which is equal to effort distance, SE, divided by load distance, SL. And the units would be meters divided by meters. Therefore, the velocity ratio is going to be unitless. The short form is VE over VL where we have effort velocity divided by load velocity and the units would be meters per second divided by meters per second therefore that would cancel out to give you one so velocity ratio has no unit let's look at this example a machine with a velocity ratio of four has an effort of 50 newtons applied to it the load being lifted weighs 800 newtons Calculate the distance moved by the load and the distance moved by the effort. Then we'll have to use the equation velocity ratio equals the effort distance, so that's SE, divided by the load distance, that's SL. Now, the question is asking about distance moved by the load, so that would be SL. So we can rearrange this for SL which would give us SL equals SE divided by VL. And this is equal to SE is 800. And the velocity ratio is 4. And therefore, that would give us an answer of 200. Now, pause the video here and attempt this exam question. In the ancient Egyptian era, archaeologists have thought that the pyramids were constructed using inclined surfaces. The incline of the slope is at an angle of 20 degrees to the horizontal. Calculate the velocity ratio. We can start by thinking about what the effort distance and the load distance are going to be. So if we go along the slope over here, we can say this is going to be the effort distance, so we can label that as SE. Um, the reason why it's the effort distance is because we are pushing that along, the effort is along the slope. So that's the effort distance there. And then the load distance is going to be the vertical because that's the distance the load needs to be. It is at the top here. So we can label that SL. Now we know the velocity ratio is equal to SE divided by SL. And we haven't been given any values, but we don't need any values because we can use trigonometry here. So we know the angle to the slope of the slope to the horizontal is 20 degrees. So we can use sine theta, which we know is opposite over hypotenuse, which is what we have. And that's sine 20 degrees in this case is equal to the opposite, which is SL divided by SE. Now, rearranging this for SE, we can write SL divided by sine 20 degrees. And the reason why we did that is so we can replace the SE in our velocity ratio equation. And if we do that, that would give us value. Velocity ratio equals SL divided by SL sine 20 degrees. So the SLs will cancel and we're left with 1 over sine 20 degrees. And if we plug that in the calculator, we should get a value of 2.92. And that's the end of the lesson. If you would like to boost your grades, visit us at btechrevision.com.